Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you don't like it, just don't do anything because I don't want a thumbs down. I'm going to show you guys my nighttime routine. I actually am going to use a different face wash than what I usually use because I just had this company send me this face wash and the ingredients in it are really good. So I kind of want to try that out and try it out with you guys. But everything else that I use is my normal nighttime routine. So the face wash that I'm going to be talking about is honestly, I don't know how to say this brand. It's a pineapple cleansing oil and it looks like this. The ingredients are Jamaican black castor oil, African black soap, shea butter, apple cider vinegar, and a couple other ingredients that I don't really know what they are. But anyway, we're gonna try this out. But first, um, and I don't even have that much makeup on because I just like put makeup on really quick to run outside. So I don't have a lot to take off. To start out my nighttime routine, I always, always use this brand and nothing else because I feel like every other makeup wipe makes me break out. This is the simple brand and it's for sensitive skin. You have to look for the ones that say my seller. This is a really, really good brand and ingredients for sensitive skin like myself. So if you're looking for a good makeup remover wipe, this is definitely a go-to. You can find this at any grocery store. A lot of people will come to me and complain, why is this makeup breaking my face out? Usually it's because you're not removing your makeup the correct way. A lot of people don't remove it with a makeup wipe and that's actually one of the number one mistakes because you're just washing your face over top of makeup. You're just like scrubbing the makeup into your pores and it's actually making you break out and causing your pores to have build up and it's just not good. So the micellar makeup wipes actually really get in there and break up the makeup like the foundations that are silicone based that really breaks that up before you put face wash on top of it. So after I remove my makeup with my makeup remover wipes, I always rinse my face first and then I start my face wash process. On a normal night, I would typically use my Murad uh, clarifying cleanser, but since we're trying out this new product, I'm just gonna use that. All right, so the consistency of this pineapple cleanser looks like this. Mm, smells really organic. And I can't figure out how to work this pump, so I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand. All right, so first I wash my face with my hands. It lathers really nicely. And it has um, little beads in it too, so that's good for exfoliating. But it's not an exfoliant, so it's not something that you can't use every day. All right, and then I'll rinse this off. Okay, so the feeling of this after I rinse it, it's very, um, like when you wash your face with a bar of soap, or not your face, but if you wash your body with a bar of soap, it's like not slippery, like it has a very good grip. I don't know, I don't really know if I like that on my face, but anyway. Okay, so next I'm gonna use my face brush by Skylab. You can find this on Amazon, I will link it below. This brush has saved my life. Literally gets all that excess makeup out that you don't get with your makeup remover wipe or the first time wash. It just like really gets in deep into that pore and just brings out all the makeup, it's amazing. And it actually keeps your face looking more clear. So I just put a little bit of soap on the back of this brush. Just get it wet. Okay, 
You just wanna do this in circular motions. I just got my shirt soaking wet. After you rinse your face, you wanna also end with rinsing your face with cold water because that's what's closing your pores before you put your moisturizer or any cream on your face. And you always want to pat dry, not wipe, because that's pulling at your skin. It's just less harsh on your skin. After that, I would usually, well, depending on the day, I usually do this twice a week, but I usually use the Glam Glow. Um, this is the silver mask. It is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Um, but I'm gonna save this for a different video because I kinda wanna talk more about this in depth. So we're not gonna do the mask tonight, but I'm gonna go straight to my Murad Perfecting Night Cream and then also my Derma E Vitamin E Moisturizer. This stuff is amazing and doesn't clog your pores. So first I'm gonna use my Perfecting Night Cream and I just put less than a dime size, like a tiny little dot and I put it underneath my eyes, on the corner of my eyes, and then a little bit on my eyelid without getting too close to your eyes because obviously it's not good for the inside of your eye. But this just kind of um, prevents wrinkles from under my eyes and all that good stuff. My camera's about to die. After that, I dip into my vitamin E moisturizer. I get this stuff from Amazon and then everything else I get either on Amazon or Mirad.com. I will link everything below so that you guys can try this out yourselves. All right, so I just put a little bit and just kind of rub it all over my face in circular motions. Never forget about your neck. Your neck is just as important. And then I put a little bit on my lips too. And then I'll put chapstick over top of that. All right guys, this is the end of my Get Unready With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Like I said before, if you're not already subscribed to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.